So just at the door, they haven't done anything, but they did have stolen plates on their car, and that's how do you know that? The call. Because the officer that was here on Friday called to tell us that, and he said if they come back, we're supposed to call. You're listening to one of the workers at Schwanke Caston call police as Milwaukee Bucks forward John Henson rings the bell looking to shop for a Rolex Monday afternoon. I am hiding in the office. I okay. don't want them to see me out there. We're pretending like we're closed. According to a newly released report, Henson called the store Friday asking when they closed. That call prompted employees to call police and close 30 minutes early because they were concerned about recent crime in the area. What were the phone calls about? They were just asking about what time we were going to close, and they just didn't sound like they were legitimate customers. Henson was denied entry into the store Friday when he showed up with a few friends. The same thing happened again Monday. One real tall, one short. Males? Males, okay. black African American okay. males. The stolen place misunderstanding was cleared up when Henson told police the car as part of his endorsement deal with the box. Henson posted his experience on his Instagram page saying, quote, this was one of the most degrading and racially prejudiced things I've ever experienced in life and wouldn't wish this on anyone. Now, the owner of the jewelry store met privately with John Henson and apologized to his face, saying he deeply regretted what happened. Henson has said he's unsure if he'll shop at Schwanke Castle again. He never bought that Rolex. Live in the newsroom, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.